Hello, everybody. I hope you all are doing very well. Welcome again to our channel. The video today is to talk about histograms. Where to find it, where to perform it, and how can we see them in jump. So, to, to share this video, to record this video for you, I have this data table where I have some information about the process and I have here eight different uh, responsive variables that were measured in these parts, okay? So, my goal here is to, to show you uh, four different places that you can find the histogram in jump. The first one is here. You have your data table and you have this histogram image here. This is a button. So you can click here and you can see uh, different little histograms here. How your column is variating, how your column is distributed, okay? So, for example, you can already see here that this Y8 is not a normal uh, distribution. You can see that here uh, maybe you have a, a special cause or a leverage point. Here you have like two different uh, distributions in your data column. So here in the Y1, you have a normal distribution, probably, and here you have a uniform distribution because they are your parts, right? So you have here the 36 parts. Here you have the distribution about your machines, your shifts and days. So this is the first part of this video when we can have uh, information about how our columns are being distributed. Okay, guys? So, this is the first part of the video. The second part of the video, and the most uh, used, I would say, is here. Analyze distribution. So, we will perform uh, a distribution analysis of the columns that we are interested. For example, we could put every single column here and click in OK. And here, let, let's, let's run it, it again because there is something that is very interesting here. Let's recall. And here you have histograms only. My goal, my interest is only about histograms. So let's do this. Look. I have the histogram for each one of the columns, okay? But here I don't have the information, so I, I would have to call all the information about the histogram. So it's more used, it's more common when you we just click in distribution, select the columns and click in OK. And we have a lot of statistical information about every column that we put there. For example, when your variable is nominal, you have the frequencies here. For example, how many rows you had this level and this level, the total, the missing rows that you had, the number of levels. So you have this about the nominal columns, okay? The Y response in this example, you will have in this graph and a histogram and a box plot. We have already talked about uh, box plot in another video, so I will select, I will press the control key in my keyboard and I will take off the outlier box plot. So now I, I just took off every box plot in every uh, graph that I have because I use the control key, okay? All this quantiles information is about the box plot, okay? So I will minimize every single one at the same time using the uh, control key in my keyboard. And now I have all the statistical details about these histograms, the mean, the standard deviation, 
the standard error mean, the upper and lower uh, 95% confidence interval about the mean, the, the amount of data that I have, and if I have some missing data in this column. So here is a, a, a place in jump that is very nice to talk about histograms. Uh, but they are in a vertical position, right? So if I want to change this for horizontal, I can click here, histogram option, and deselect the vertical option. So now I have all the histograms in a horizontal position. I can stack them as well. Here, in this red button here, stack. So now I have the histograms uh, distributed, uh, let's say, on this way. Okay, guys, this, this is the second part about distribution in this video. The third part is inside of the graph builder. So inside of the graph builder, I can just put a uh, drag the, this Y1 and drop here and click here in the histogram. So I have uh, all the information, all, not all the information right here, but I have the histogram here, the frequencies of each uh, scale that I have. I can change this uh, for, from bar to polygon. I can change for kernel density. This kernel density is very nice very fancy, <clears throat> but you have to be careful because you can have a perfect normal distribution or you can have like this. So you have to be careful here. What is your goal? What you want to show for people? You can uh, ask Jump to show the means and standard deviation, clicking here, and you can perform some hypothesis tests here as well. If you want more histograms about the other variables, you can drag and drop here at the right or here at the left. So every response variable or every column that you put here, you start having the histogram for them. Okay, you can adjust the, the the, the, the X here as well, you can perform all the histograms at the same time here. Okay, so this is the third part of this video. The last part uh, is not very used, but is interesting. Let's suppose that you are running a correlation study so you, you are trying to understand if the Y1 is correlated with the Y2. So you can use a fit Y by X being, uh, the one, being the X one of the Ys. So you are, you are running a correlation study here. But here inside of this bottom, you have the histogram borders. So you can have an idea about how your Y2 is being distributed and the same for the Y1, how it's being distributed here. Why this point, how this point is affecting the distribution and how they are correlated, okay? So these are uh, four different places that you can run histograms in jump. I really hope I could help you again and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.